y'all it's your girl shay and you are on my channel twa thing and today i am bringing you along for a vlog and it is solely to show you um a little bit of my journey and the things that i'm <clears throat> that i'm trying to do different in my life um so yeah i just want you guys to stay tuned for that um i just feel like if you want something different in life, we always preach about how we want to do this or we want to be here in life. But if we continuously doing the same thing, then how do we expect different results? So um, over the past few days, I've been trying a lot of new different things. And um, <clears throat> this is day five for me with no social media. I'm going on like a social media fast for 40 days. And along with that, I stopped and I picked up a few self-help books to, um, to kind of keep me um, motivated, positive, um, on the right track, doing some, on the right track, doing things productive for me, um, trying to really find out what I should be doing with my life and where I need to be, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, I got a book, it's called The Purpose Driven Life. Um, I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. Today will be day two of me reading it. Um, it's a, it's about 40 chapters and you read a chapter a day. Um, and it's basically supposed to help you find your purpose in life. So I figured that since I'm fasting from social media, why not focus on something positive and, you know, um, keep myself busy and um, productive. So, yeah, I bought this book and then I also bought Excuse Me, um, Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting. I haven't really started it yet because I'm really trying to focus on this book for right now. So, um, so I can really get what I need from this book and what I'm supposed to get from this book. So, um, yeah, basically, like I said, I'm doing things differently. I love to read. If you know me, then, you know, reading is something that I love, 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 love to do. And, um, but I decided that I would try to do read more positive books, more books that will help me, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I went that route with that book. Um, also, like I said, today is day five for me, no social media at all. The only thing I'm, I'm on social media to do is post my videos. So if you haven't heard from me or if I haven't DM'd you back, that's probably why I'm not ignoring anybody. <laughs> I'm just doing some stuff for me, you know, um, trying to get myself on the right track and, um, yeah, so basically what I do in the morning is I wake up, I kind of write down a little to-do to, to -do list. If I had, most of the time I do it the night before I write down a to-do list for the next day and I try to knock off everything on that list and as well as read my book. Um, read my book, stay up to date with you guys, stay consistent when it comes to that. And the reason I'm dressed like this is because I'm going to the gym. So yeah, I try to keep myself busy doing things that I want to do um, to to reach the goals that I have in mind for me. So the gym for me has always been a goal. I want to gain, I want to tone, I want to be physically fit. So if I want those things, I got to work towards them. So that's why I'm going to the gym along with the book. I want to know my purpose because I'm getting older and I want to know what I'm here for and I want to be solid in that. I don't want to just be roaming around the world trying to find out, you know, why I'm here one day and I don't realize until I'm 60 years old. So yeah that's another thing then i really i really realized that social media um really influences our life and not always in a positive way sometimes we get on there and we look at other people and we wonder why we aren't where they are or how come we can't get to that point or how come we haven't made it to that point yet and and i don't want to get caught up in that because everybody's life is different everybody's journey is different so i'm taking a step back and allowing myself to really get in tune with me and where I need to be in life without any distractions. So yeah, um, today I got planned to edit a few videos, record a few videos, um, go ahead and read my next chapter in my book, um, and go to the gym. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring you along on that journey with me. I guess I can show you guys my uh, kind of, um, I can show you guys my my list that I have going here because some of the stuff that I need to do today. So you kind of have a mind frame about how I go about doing things when it comes to um, planning. Okay, so I have here like yesterday I had this list, which I had kind of a rough day yesterday, so I didn't really finish my list. But today I'm going to try to go ahead and knock a lot of this stuff off. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my video. I edited one of my videos. I started my book yesterday. Then I got to do those few things. Also, um go to the gym. 
Okay, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and read my second chapter uh, for today, and then I'll get back with you guys. Today's chapter is You Are Not an Accident. Okay, I like the way that start off. Be back in a little bit. Oh, wow. So it says, <clears throat> the Bible tells us God is love. It doesn't say God has love. He is love. Love is the essence of God's character. There is perfect there is perfect love in the fellowship of the Trinity. So God didn't need to create you. He wasn't lonely, but he wanted to make you in order to express his love. God says, I have carried you since you were born. I have taken care of you from your birth. Even when you are old, I will be the same. Even when your hair is turned gray, I will take care of you. I made you and will take care of you. Okay, I want to read y'all this poem I just read from the book. It says... <clears throat> You are who you are for a reason. You are part of an intricate plan. You're a precious and perfect, unique design called God's special woman or man. You look like you look for a reason. Our God made no mistake. You knit, he knit you together within the womb. You're just what he wanted to make. The parents you had were the ones he chose. And no matter how you may feel, they were custom designed with God's plan in mind and they bear the master seal. No, their trauma you faced was not easy, and God wept that it hurt you so, but it was allowed to shape your heart so that into this likeliness you'd grow. <laughs> you are who you are for a reason. You've been formed by the master's rod. You are who you are, beloved, because there is a God. Okay, so y'all, I just finished the second chapter in my book, and today this chapter really was just basically letting me know that i'm not an accident i am who i am from the way i look to the way i act to the life that i was brought into for a reason it was no mistake and um it's basically really giving me a reassurance as to who i am and why i am the way i am so that's pretty much what i took from this book and at the end of every chapter it, chapter it has like a point to ponder which is my point to ponder for this chapter is that i'm not an accident um, that get, gave me a verse to remember, and my verse to remember is, I am your creator. You were in my care even before you were born. And then they also gave me questions to consider. And my questions to consider is, I know that God uniquely created me. What areas of my personality, background, and physical appearance am I struggling with? So basically, after every chapter, I kind of try to write down or highlight some things that really stood out to me that I understand and what I got from this chapter. And um, I really just try to focus on that chapter and get what I'm supposed to from it from for that day and move on to the next chapter. So, yeah, I am ready to go to the gym, suited and booted. I've read my book, my chapter for today. Um, I've edited one of my videos, so now let's go work out. All right, y'all. Um, I just made it to the gym, and um, I just wanted to let y'all know that, um, like I said earlier, like when I say be the change you want to see, or if you want something different, do something different, you know. Um, I was riding in a car and I forgot to mention that along with no social media doing this um, book a purpose driven life coming to the gym I've also changed the music that I listen to because we don't realize how much stuff like that influences us whether we know it or not like I mean it it may subconsciously take you to a place that you don't need to be so if you keep your music positive I'm not saying go listen to gospel even though that's what I'm doing just keep it positive it'll keep you in a better mind space so yeah that's something that I um I've also changed in my daily habits as well because listening to the music that I listen to now my gospel is really keeping me thankful and um motivated and pushes me you know to continue on the path that I'm going on right now so um yeah, I think y'all should try that out too if y'all looking for some change in y'all life, you know. Um, try some of the things that I've tried. Um, or if you have any other ideas about some stuff that you've tried to help you that may help me, that would be great too. I greatly appreciate anything. Um, yeah, so I'm about to go in here and get my workout on. 
All right, y'all. Uh, I'm not going to take y'all with me throughout my whole workout journey. I might get a few clips in here, but I really like to be in my zone, you know, and stay focused. I don't want to really be distracted, so I'll see you guys afterwards. just left the gym and when I say that workout was intense I don't know why it was so intense today when I mean I kind of did a little different some stuff different but it was still super intense like I sweat but normally it's like a little bit but today yes can I get a, a medium hulk strawberry you want any energy pop on multivitamins no you want anything else no that'll be all medium strawberry hulk I have ready for you one. okay thank you like i sweat so bad i was so hot i was trying to come up out my clothes like i could have just got naked as soon as i left out the gym hell in the gym i was sweating so bad like okay. i don't know y'all i sweat so bad like it feels good like my body feels good um it was a great workout and I, it was so good I deserved this smoothie today like I deserve it and then on top of that I've been craving this smoothie since last night so I'm about to demolish this like and um <laughs> thank you in like 3.5 seconds okay well, maybe not 3.5 seconds but what up y'all i'm back i forgot to close out my vlog but um yeah just came back to close it out for you guys and thank you guys for watching my video and um supporting me through all my videos and everything um at first i wasn't gonna show all of my journey of what i have going on and changing in my life but if i can inspire somebody or push somebody to do the same i want to do so so if you want to be like me fast from social media do the 40 day um challenge um for the book a purpose driven life um changing my music going to the gym being consistent when it comes to my youtube channel any of that stuff like if you guys or are, are trying to do the same i support you i push you I, I hope that you guys will continue to support and push me if you support me put a thumbs up in the comments like my video share my video and subscribe stay loyal y'all stay loyal with me okay and then um look at this look at this look at this Y'all see that? My little suit up just bringing in my lines. Can y'all see that? Yeah, okay, look. And then them squats. Got me looking right. So yeah, anyway, like I said, like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, and have a good day, y'all. Peace.